did you see today's game? Well, uh, George, I think uh, it was a good game in my opinion. Why do I say it was a good game? At the end of the day, across the folk 1-1-0. Uh, maybe we expected to score more goals, but uh, you could see the Moroccans, uh, they were a little bit uh, on the defensive. They started from the beginning and indicated their opinion that they want to make it slim. So, but eventually we were able to score 1-0. And I think for me, it is nothing to panic about. It's something we can do. Uh, for my boys, I just think uh, they need to still focus and just believe that the one zero is not existing. Let's go to Morocco and confront them. I mean, it's 11 on 11. If we're able to face them technically and be able to push forward, if we score them in Morocco, it will be a different ball game. And then we'll begin to think that we have one goal already in, uh, in Ghana. So I think uh, we need to play very well. But today for me, uh, our boys, played very well, uh, but for me it would have been a little bit better if we have lifted up a game, especially in the second half, because I saw the Moroccans very tired. Uh, we needed to give them a little bit of running. If we were able to put, introduce running in the second half, especially in the last 20 minutes, I believe they would have collapsed, but at the end of the day, that's what you see in football. So, with 1-0, we are comfortable for now. Yeah, but you were playing against uh, with that team uh, <clears throat> that have won the Cup Champions League yes, in 2017. They won the Super Cup in 2018. They are regular playing field, the semi-finals of this Cup Champions League in the last six years. And this is your team that you are building. I know you've talked a lot about building a, a great team for the future. Where do you think you are at this stage when you saw the performance? Well, uh, looking at the game we played today, uh, at the CV you just mentioned now, uh, it gives me a lot of happiness because it means my boys confronted them in a very good standard. Uh, judging from their championship, I mean the 2018, 2017 and all the things they have done. I think uh, they are a good side. We cannot uh, take them for granted. But our boys uh, played very well. Now the reason is that we're going away, George. Uh, the away game, they have a lot of experience. Uh, you can see they are relaxed. But at the end of the day, I don't think they can determine the game because we're going to play our game. Uh, like I say, we need to just find a goal in Morocco just to get one goal. If we get one goal, they will be in a panic situation because they know that that will be disaster for them. So they want to prove the, the world that they were good. What they did in 2017 and 2018 is not by accident. So they want to prove it to a team that is coming from West Africa once more. So we will not take them for granted. We will take it very serious. We will look at it and know, say, look, these guys have what it takes, but they will not take us for granted. No matter how naive or how uh, premature the boys will look at, but I think they are one on one, 11 players, we can do anything. We have players who have played on the highest level, like people like Banya and every other team. Uh, Nate can equally do a lot of difference. Our goalkeeper is very good, and they, I believe we can stand the Moroccans. It's nothing to panic across the vogue. For me, definitely we'll find our way through, and I think we can qualify. Good. Uh, we, saw, we, saw, we saw 2,000 you know, fans in the stadium. Uh, it made a lot of difference, and it, it, this is not the end of your cuff campaign, even if you lose in, in Morocco, there's Confederations Cup to play and there are more games coming down here. Would you push for more than 2,000? Well, uh, definitely, I think that, that would be fair on the side of Accra. So we should be able to expand the 2,000. If we get a little bit, maybe 50% more of what we're having today, I think that will give us, because support makes a lot of difference. We see it in every part of the world. If you look at EPL now and you look at the support base that is coming to stadium, and you see what difference is making in games. So I think we should be able to ask for more uh, opening in terms of percentage. If they give us 5,000 supporters, I think that's not, our stadium is for 40,000. So if we play with 5,000, I don't think that will bring any obstacle in our game. So for that, we will definitely push for that. Like you're saying, uh, if we do not qualify through the Moroccans, I don't think we will not qualify. I think we will qualify. I'm very uh, positive about that. Yeah. So we think we'll qualify. I'm not thinking about going to Confederation because we have done it before, but I think that where we belong to is where we are playing now. Okay. Okay. Friend, uh, Sunday, what is the program for Team No Aomdebeko and Adabenebeko? Well, uh, I know they are meant to me catch us, but because it's a technical issue, but uh, by all means, by all means, by all means, it will be a shake up and, uh, and every other thing. But, uh, you need to plan very well what to do technically so that you don't get a jet lag and every time overtrain the boys. Because between now and the court this Sunday, there are, it's like six days and five days that you have. And the said that we have to be technically 
uh, up and doing in terms of how we use our boys, in terms of how we train them, so that they don't get tired and get into Morocco because they are going to fly from here. No matter what type of aircraft they are going to use, uh, they're going to go to a terrain that they are not used to. So all these things will come. Possible even fear will come in. But we need to prepare ourselves very well, psych them up very well, to get the psychologists to let them understand that, look, your game you are going to do, you are professional, so you have to go and do it. And to address uh, uh, prepare your team very well, but me, uh, the technical team and the management of there, man a year. Okay, finally, supporters in the Navy, as a GDN echo form, especially with 1-0 win, you know, then I will at the actual supporters. Oh, no, I don't know, sir. They are here, say, you win the game, no. Uh, Morocco no panic no be Morocco because at the end of the day when himself more one zero down. Until you say you come Morocco by any mistake no penalty anything I could show one zero and I had any one one no dear. Until I believe your supporters no say we have much confidence no na bomb by my support team no so na support team no say believing say that one zero no dear on a so a bit media cut through because men who say one zero in football they be a it made will cut through. My affiliate say, Oh, because of one zero in your free game, no, there, no, no, there, and yeah, 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 and yeah,